Hey, hey, it's your girl, Dr. Brandy. Come on in here, y'all. I know, I know, we in kind of the dark. I got my mood lighting going. It's, it's B-sides, <laughs> bootlegs and B-sides up in this piece. Come on in, though, because it's Wednesday night, 7.30. We are due to be together uh, it's been a, it's been a week. It's been a week since I've seen you guys and I wanted to jump on. I didn't get a chance to jump on yesterday um, or Friday for that matter because um, I was under the weather and I was worried that I might have COVID. So I went and got tested and thank God my test came back negative. So I'm back. I'm here. I feel pretty good. But yeah, I was nervous for a minute, but I'm here. So come on in, you guys. Uh, say hi if you are coming in for the session live. If you are catching this on the replay, hit hashtag replay. So I know that you were here. Okay. So yeah, so we are hanging out. It's our usual Life Love Libido Show with Dr. Brandy. That's me. I'm Dr. Brandy, board certified OBGYN, Amazon number one best-selling author, and your sex and pleasure coach. And I teach women how to feel good in and out of the bedroom and how to get their sexy back. And so tonight, um, yeah, I titled this, This Is Me, um, just because this is me. This is my usual kind of get up this is my usual spot that I'm hanging out in um, especially lately because I was worried that I might have COVID and I didn't want to expose my daughter to that so I kind of have been hermiting in my room and just kind of hanging out here so that's why we're still here because even though I had that negative test I'm still waiting out what's happening and waiting out these symptoms to make sure they are truly gone and that nothing else develops because yeah we have pre-existing conditions we have underlying medical conditions and i don't want to die i don't want my child to die so we are doing what we got to do to make sure that nobody gets sick so yeah so that's why i'm in a different location not not the best lighting but is definitely it sets a mood it's a vibe it's a vibe in here so come on in tell me how you guys have been for the week did you guys check did you catch last week's show with monica viramontes we had an amazing time she told us about how to create a sexy space whatever that means for you and I haven't finished setting up my room, but once I do, once I get my bedroom all, you know, spruced up and get all the stuff in there, I'm definitely going to show you guys what, um, what it is that is going to be in here and how it's going to look. I can definitely show you one thing though. Um, uh, well, maybe I shouldn't show you. I got a bag, a Target bag next to it, but there's this painting that I have that, I just totally love and this painting is definitely gonna stay in my room um, and I just I like the vibe of it of it so maybe I'll take a picture of it although the picture won't do it justice but maybe I'll take a picture of it um, and post it if you guys want to see what this painting is um, and it's really it's really cool it's really nice so what are we gonna talk about tonight Tonight, we are going to talk about what it means to invite pleasure into your life and why you should do it. Because most of the time, if you're if you're like most women, if you're like me, who I who I used to be, you you know, you were out doing your thing whether that was working outside of the house or working inside of the house but your goal and purpose was to make sure everybody else was okay and you when it came down to you and whether or not you were enjoying your life whether or not you were enjoying the things of life 
um, you know, that was secondary because you had to make sure that everybody else was good, right? And so I used to believe that. Um, that used to be how I operated. It was not only just making sure that every everybody else was good, but everything else was good. And so I couldn't rest. I couldn't sit down. I couldn't really relax into anything if there was hanging, hanging, dangling threads of stuff that needed to get addressed and to be fixed and taken care of. And so I was always on kind of this running rat race of things and trying to catch up as I always felt like I was behind. Like there was always something to do. There's always something pending. There's always something that needed to get handled. And, you know, I had to handle it. So I was doing all the stuff and just not enjoying life at all, at all. And so I totally was missing my pleasure, like any pleasure, just any pleasure. Like the only, the only thing that I would think about wanting to do. Um, and if you've heard my story before, you kind of know how it showed up just as this overwhelming need to sleep like that was the thing that I was so 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 wanting to do no matter what like if I ever had any free time it was like can I just go to sleep I just want to go to sleep and partly you know I got away with it because I was working I was working hard and it was like why why are you sleeping well because I've been up all night I've been delivering babies I've been doing surgeries I've been doing all this stuff like I'm tired right and so it was justified, but what I didn't realize was that it had crossed over the line of being justified by just being tired from work. And so, you know, I actually was depressed and just the thought of doing anything was too much. Like it was just too much to, to generate any enthusiasm about doing anything else. And so you know, sleep was my go-to and it did bring me pleasure because I felt like I got some rest. You know, I, it was an escape for sure from everything that was going on around me. Um, as far as work was concerned, as far as my marriage was concerned, as far as being a mom was concerned, you know, it was an escape. But what I didn't realize was that it was Something that was ultimately robbing me of my pleasure. And it wasn't until, hmm, it had to be about seven, eight years ago now that I realized what was happening. Like, I feel like it was an epiphany that I had and the scales came off and it was just like, I am not enjoying life at all. And I don't like any of this. Like, I don't like, I wanted to quit doing OBGYN work. I was done with that. <laughs> I was ready to quit my marriage. I couldn't quit my child, but there was some stuff going on. I was just like, this right here, Jesus, just this right here. Like, I'm deuces, right? Kind of like 2020 has been doing to us this year. It's making us look at some things a little differently, look at some situations, some relationships, some things differently. And so, you know, I had kind of this come to Jesus moment about seven, eight years ago. And I was like, this is not how life is supposed to be. Like, it's not supposed to be horrible on all fronts. It's not supposed to be where I just don't want any of this. And so what I did was I started to dig deeper and find out what actually was going on, what was happening. And, you know, that was when I learned, um, one, that I'm an introvert. Um, I thought I was just shy. I thought I was just, you know, socially awkward. <laughs> That's what I thought. I didn't realize that I was an introvert and that, you know, I needed time to recharge by myself 
without anybody else and that there was nothing wrong with that. Um, I discovered at that time that I was depressed and I needed to make some changes to my life and do some, some things to make sure that my mental health was on par with where it needed to be. Um, yeah, and if you ever want to, you know, know that piece of it, you know, just put it in the comments and maybe I'll make a video on that too. But, um, you know, I had to make some, well, I, there were some decisions that were, were forced upon me, um, as far as my marriage and being separated from my partner, um, who I had been with for a long time and thought that it was going to be forever. And, you know, some things happened, some things changed and I had to face some, some hard truths, um, that I wasn't ready to, to face that I wasn't emotionally and mentally strong enough to face. Um, and that, that journey, that's a whole other journey. That's a whole other journey. Um, but yeah, there was some stuff going on. There was some stuff going on that really like the pain of it all is what pushed me to discover where my pleasure was to discover just an innate appreciation for myself, appreciation for who I was and who I am, an appreciation for what it was that was kind of brewing inside of me as far as my passion. Because one of the things that I had been going through, especially with the relationship piece, was not wanting to have sex, not wanting to be intimate with my husband. And it was a problem. It was a big problem. It was a problem. And in that time of, you know, that tension, it got to the point where the relationship just totally broke apart, just fell apart. And, you know, I had to, had to figure out what was going on. Now, obviously before that I had been doing different things, looking for different resources, checking different things out, but you know, nothing, nothing that I found lasted it was always a kind of a quick fix. Oh, if you do this, oh, if you do that, if you get a little lingerie, if you, you know, you go on a trip together, you do all these things, you know, then it'll be fine. And it wasn't fine. <laughs> it was not fine. It was far from fine to the point that, you know, we, we separated and ultimately, you know, the re relationship just fell apart and was over. <laughs> so, if you're listening to me, if you can hear the sound of my voice, know that sex is a big part of relationships. And if you are not feeling like you want to have sex at all, if you are having issues in your relationship because of it, we need to talk. Point blank period. We need to talk because I've been where you are. <laughs> And I know how to get you out of there. I know how to get you to the point where you do want to have sex and you're excited about it again and you want to do it as opposed to being forced or feeling like you have to, right? We want to take it from not feeling like you have to to feeling like you want to because that's ultimately what your partner wants too. They don't want to feel like they're forcing it on you. So long story short, everything, everything kind of imploded my life and imploded <laughs> and I had to, to rebuild some things and figure some things out. And in that process, I figured out how to get my pleasure back. And I'll tell you, it has been a difficult journey, but it has been the most rewarding journey of my life and I wouldn't change it maybe maybe a tweak or two but I wouldn't change it because if it hadn't happened then I wouldn't be here 
talking to you now. I wouldn't be here as your sex and pleasure coach, which is just a, a feat in and of itself. Like I knew that I wanted to, to be in this space as far as sex education, because I wanted to, you know, dispel myths as I, as I learned about the way that the human body works, the way that the female body works and the female brain works when it comes to sex and pleasure. I was like, oh my God, somebody has been lying to us all this time. And so I was like, my job, I've got to dispel these myths. So I was going to be a sex educator for sure. And, you know, in my day to day work as an OBGYN, I was doing that. But for me to step out and to be your sex and pleasure coach, that actually came from this whole journey of self-discovery and finding my pleasure again and finding out how important pleasure is in our lives. Not just as women, but particularly for women, pleasure is important. Pleasure is our destiny and our birthright. And pleasure is something that we deserve and we should stop putting it on the back burner. Now, when I'm talking about pleasure, I'm not specifically talking about sex right now because, you know, pleasure can be having a great meal. Pleasure can be laughing. You know, there was so, there was a time in my life that I just, I didn't laugh. Like I couldn't laugh about anything. Nothing was funny. Nothing, you know, tickled me. Nothing really penetrated to touch those parts of me that could laugh. And I missed that. And now today I know that I miss it so much so that I, you know, I watch funny stuff on YouTube. I've watched comedy specials and different things like that. And now I understand how important it is just to be able to laugh, have a nice hearty laugh and not be sad all the time. Not be, you know, down in the dumps all the time. Not always feeling like stuff is not working out for me. It's just, it's, it's a total shift. It's been a total shift in who I am and how I operate as a human in this world. And so, you know, that's me. That's me. Now I'm, I'm happy. Things, things are not as, you know, tied up and wrapped up with a bow as I'd like them to be, but I'm happy. I'm truly and genuinely happy and I want that for every person who is under the sound of my voice. I want you to be truly happy and in order to do that, in order to be there, you got to find your pleasure. So with that being said, I want to invite you to a special workshop that I'm hosting on the 29th. And this workshop is going to help you to invite more pleasure into your life. Now, the workshop is a vision board workshop. And with this vision board workshop, what we're going to do is talk about those things that are obstacles are blocking you from your pleasure. And then we're going to talk about ways to overcome those blocks. And in that process, we are also going to put together a vision board. So you'll get to have something that you can look back on to remember that you are deserving of pleasure, you are worthy of pleasure, and to have something to look at to remind you of the things that bring you pleasure so that it's top of mind as we go into 2021. Because if nobody else needs it, we need it. Going into 2021, us women, we need some more pleasure in our lives. 
And why not set the intention for that going into the new year? So if you would like to participate in the vision board workshop, which is happening on a Tuesday, December 29th, please go to pleasureprinciples.net and get your seat because we only have a limited number of seats. And if you get your seat, if you get your seat by tonight, then we will send you your supplies so that you don't even have to worry about supplies. All you got to do is show up. You don't have to worry about supplies or anything. Just show up, right? So go to pleasureprinciples.net and get your seat for the vision board workshop. It's called Pleasure Principles, the vision board edition. Because, yeah, we got to get those pleasure principles in operation in our lives so we can have more pleasure going into 2021. And God knows we need it. Yep. So pleasureprinciples.net to get your seat. And yeah, let's invite more pleasure into our lives. Because life is too short to not have pleasure, not to experience pleasure. Life is too short for bad sex for sure. So let's talk about how we can get you having some good sex. And if you are a woman who needs help in that area and you like some more individualized help, get on my schedule at drbrandyobgyn.com and let's get on a strategy session and talk about it because I'm here for you. I'm here to help you live your best sex life ever. And not only that, I'm here to help you live your best life ever, really. Not even just your best sex life. But if you're having good sex, then the other stuff generally is in line too. If it's all where it needs to be. And I I can attest to that. (laughs) I can attest to that. Because when you're just having sex, but the rest of it is not there, that's not a good place to be. So if you are a woman who needs help, reach out, drbrandyobgyn.com. I have room in my schedule. Even though we're going into the holidays, I have room in my schedule and I'd love to talk to you. All right? So I will see you guys um, Friday, Friday for Dr. Brandy After Dark, barring any complications, barring any other COVID scares up in this piece. I will see you on Friday at 830 right here. All right. All right. So enjoy your Wednesday and I will see you then again. I'm Dr. Brandy, board certified OBGYN. Amazon number one best-selling author of my book, My Oh My, A Committed Woman's Guide to Getting the Great Sex She Deserves. And I am your sex and pleasure coach, teaching women just like you how to get your sexy back and how to feel good in and out of the bedroom. And I hope to see you at the workshop, pleasureprinciples.net. Register tonight so you can get your stuff mailed to you. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.